Prove the sum of two Poisson variables also follows a Poisson distribution. The probability generating function of a discrete random variable is given by g of t is equal to the sum of all x of probability of x is equal to x t to the x. So consider x belonging to a Poisson distribution lambda. The probability that x is equal to x is lambda to the power of x e to the minus x over x factorial. g of x of t is equal to e of t of x, which is what this is. So this is from x is equal to 0 of, to infinity of t to the x, lambda to the x, e to the minus lambda over x factorial. Now e to the x is for all x, x times the probability of x, so we're using this idea here. So it's going to give me e to the minus lambda, which is the common factor, can come out from x is 0 to infinity. Now this is t to the x times lambda to the x, so that will become t times lambda to the x over x factorial. Note, if you were to sum from n to 0 or infinity of this series x to the n over n factorial, you get e to the x. So this will become e to the t lambda. So we have e to the minus lambda times e to the t lambda, which is e to the minus lambda plus t lambda, which gives me the probability generating function for x x which is a e to the minus minus lambda bracket one minus t. Now let y be equal possum mu then g of y of t will be e to the minus mu times one minus t. G of x plus t x plus y to the t will be g to the x of t times g to the y of t which will give me e to the minus lambda times 1 minus t times e to the minus mu times 1 minus t, which will give me e, um, 1 minus t comes as a common factor, so I've got to be left with minus lambda minus mu, but when I put brackets it in, it becomes minus lambda plus mu times 1 minus t. Therefore, we can see that x plus y also follows a Poisson lambda plus mu. This is the format of the generating function for Poisson distribution.